Hello and welcome to Fairy Ears World, where we are back in the Sky Factory, and I've been I've been grinding away on this bugger for a while. Things things have not changed much. There is there is demoralization. This has got bigger. This is this is this is huge now. This is this is big old huge thing. Let me show you what we're storing here now. We're storing crap ton of power. Um, 489 of those things, but we've stopped making them for the time being. I think there's actually some still in here. Yeah, there's 31 in there, but we've stopped making them. We made some more pylons, and we wrapped pylons round our, our fortress in the deep dark. I won't show you that, because you, you know what that looks like, and it's bloody dangerous in there. But we've wrapped pylons around it a bit more. We've, we've done all the edges. All edges of the thing are now... All four edges of all six sides are now... Have pylons along the edges. There's nothing along the sides, but the edges are all done. But it's still not massively reduced the amount of energy. It has reduced the amount of energy, but not massively. I think we're up to about 19% efficient now. The only way I can reduce that efficiency, uh, reduce that load and increase the efficiency now, and it's an exponential thing apparently, so if I add more pylons, they will make a bigger difference now than they were when I was first adding pylons. If I add more pylons, it will reduce the amount of energy we need to use. So I'm thinking I'm going to come at this from two ways. I am going to have to make more pylons, and I am going to have to make more energy storage. And then at some point, we will meet in the middle. But that is going to be a ball ache and a grind. A grindy ball ache. And nobody wants a grindy ball ache. That's, that's just unpleasantness. But in the meantime, we need to do something with this. We need to we need to get a, a grinder on this. I think I think we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna bite the bullet and we're gonna get a grinder on that bad boy. Cause damn, it's just dangerous. We might make that tank a bit bigger down there as well, make a bit more room. So we also need do 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 to make some upgrades for our this this oh it's upstairs isn't it? Because this isn't this isn't always immediately filling up. It is full at the moment, but it does it, it doesn't always just like snap to it straight away. It's not instantaneous. This this feed might be a little bit overwhelmed at the moment because it's doing all of these. It's this one here. It's doing all of these crucibles and it's doing all of the machines downstairs as well. So if I put a a speed upgrade on this. I think we'll be we'll be in better position. I mean, filling this is not a problem, as you can see. It, it keeps on top because there's this. I think there's four four of them filling it, so that's not a problem. But we need a speed upgrade on that, so that's where we're going to start. We're going to start with the speed upgrade on that. Then we're going to get the uh, the grinder on the go. Then we're going to need to have a look at some of these chests, which are going to need updating soon because copper's up to six. Oh crap! Copper's up to sixty one stacks now. As soon as we start getting crap in here that we don't want, we know we've we've maxed out a chest. We've still got some of the upgrades. We've still got six of them left, so we're okay for a bit, but but we're gonna be we're gonna be cutting it close. So we need to look at I was looking at them anyway. Speed upgrades. So it's gold and redstone blocks, and I am going to put this recipe in the damn machine in my bob. Because damn if I'm building that manually. Uh, can I have some redstone please? Uh, oh, redstone blocks is already in here. That's good. Have we? Do we? You know, do you know how to make a gold nugget? We probably don't know how to make a gold nugget, do you? Uh, if I put that there, you get them. Encode that. There you go. Clear that. Excellent. We now have gold nuggets available to us. Next. So if I shift click that in there, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just put it in there, shall I? Shall I just put it in there? That makes life easier. It does make life easier. So now we can set up upgrade recipe. Um, encode. That should be it. I don't know why I've got three buckets of water on me. Oh, I do. I know why I've got three buckets of water on me. I've been going down to the diamond farm. I put the 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 bone meal in the in the sprinkler, and it doesn't make too much difference. It doesn't work with the magic crops on this mod pack. Apparently, other mod packs does work. This one, not so much. So that's that's a that's a big that's a big fat zero there, which is a shame. Um, don't like big fat zeros anywhere. Uh, we'll have eight of these, I think. Begin, and that should be fairly instantaneous. It should be. I'm going for should be. There we go. Eight. Perfect. And they stack, as you can see by the fact that it's stacking there. They stack, so we can just lash that in there. 
and it'll it'll do the job. I'm guessing eight times faster. I don't know the maths on this one, but here, have an upgrade, buddy. There we go. Look at it. Oh, look at it go now. That's much better. And we can we can monitor that. We can keep an eye on that. Make sure it's doing its job right. And if this does, which it's obviously not going to, if this does start to empty, there we go. That went down a bit, and it's back up again. If this does, we can we can add stack stack mining upgrades to these, and that will dump tons and tons of cobble into that barrel, which is which is okay. So this should now have no problem being filled all the time. Yeah, that's all good. That struggling a bit it doesn't get a massive amount of soul sand as it comes in it gets done but it, it doesn't come in in vast quantities it's a bit of a shame but you, you can't have everything in life you can't have everything we've only got the one the one sort of soul sand production system out here it's doing a good job for us don't get don't get me wrong i like the way it's working but it's it's not it's not massively massively successful it'll do the job we're getting we're getting nether quartz at a at a rate. It's not a great rate. What have we got in there? We've got a stack and thirty. We'll let that build up a bit, and then we can put in some, some orders for some more of these energy storage. Then we'll put in an order for more pylons, and then we'll we'll just keep going at it like that. I need some of these. I want to set up a recipe for these so I can just make diamonds. If I clear that, I need some more blanks. Have I got any more blanks? Do I has blanks? Do I has blanks? No, I don't. Okay, craft me. Ten blanks, begin. That'll go off and deplete my resources somewhat again. I'm surprised that the, the nether... that the, the general quartz is holding up as well as it is, because I am absolutely pounding this applied energistic stuff. Like, you wouldn't believe. It's such a pounding I'm giving it. Where are they? It's making glass, isn't it? There they are, three of them. I'll take them for now, and it can carry on. It just takes time to make the glass, and there's no fast way of doing this. That should make me one diamond. Encode that. There we go. Perfect. Then that can go in there. So we now have a recipe for making diamonds, and they can go back in there. Excellent. Jobs are good, and they should show up in there. They do. The system, she works. Let's go check the farms quickly. Let us quickly saunter out as we do we're sauntering here we're doing the saunter and check the farms we also need to check how much charcoal we've got down there because having turned the tree farm off it occurred to me the other day i'm probably making a boo-boo a little bit of a boo-boo but that's okay life's all about the boo-boos uh that's still going strong we, we're getting we're getting them up in numbers they are they are rising in numbers it's fine everything's everything's under control let's just dump all this water into here no, that's 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 where we want the water to go. So this bone meal malarkey would work on these crops, but these crops don't auto harvest. So these crops are a pain in my ass, and I don't want a pain in my ass. That's just not that's not what I want in life. It's not where I need to be going in life, having a pain in my ass. So we probably should set up an emerald farm out here somewhere at some point once these are all happy go lucky type chappies. Is the sun coming up or is the sun going down? Sun coming up. Cool. Redstone's still doing well. Ender pearl. I mean, the end is just, just ridiculous now. We're getting so much of the stuff. I think we're stopping spawning over here. Nothing's spawning on the other little slab of land out here because it's... Oh, oh, well, jungle cats are. That's it. That's all we're getting. We're getting bloody jungle cats. That's all that's spawning out here. We've got our sheep, which we've placed here. But nothing else is spawning on this slab of land. It is, it is basically garbage out here. But we've at least put a gate in so that the sheep don't wander into our lake area. They seem happy enough out there, but, you know, it's not ideal. So, yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a disappointing area, this one. It's not, and look, bloody cats have come back. Let's go in here and see how the tree, the, 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 the grass is spreading in this area. Oh, it's done. The grass is now fully grown, so we can just we can just lob this lot right down and manually replant it. There's probably op an option on auto breaking this stuff, so we don't. Okay, so we can't do that corner one. That's a bit disappointing. I was kind of hoping we could do that corner one. 
Get rid of the snow. Get rid of the snow. I'm assuming this stuff still... I mean, it lets me plant it, so I'm assuming it's going to grow in a snow biome. We're going to have so many books. We're going to have a library like you wouldn't believe. People are going to come from miles around to admire our literary, literary masterpiece, which is going to be the Great Library of Furry. I don't really want to get rid of the torch, so I think we'll have to leave the torch there. You won't be able to see it. It'll be it'll be discreet. So that's good. We've made some progress there. I'm glad this grass has finally, well, grassed. I'm not entirely sure that's a legitimate statement, but I am glad the, gla the grass has grassed. So now we need to look at Makey Makey Grinder Grinder for Grindy Grinding. Oh yeah, we wanted to check on the, the charcoal situation as well, didn't we? We can just hop down here and have a check on our deep storage unit. We've got 35,000 in there. And it's fluctuating wildly. That's fine. I mean, these aren't doing a great deal at the moment. The energy cell that these charge is just fine and dandy. It's got, it's got massive amounts of storage in there. Um, so, eventually, this is going to need to be on our AE system, which might help speed things up a little bit. And then again, it might not. How do I get back upstairs? Ah, we've got one of these, haven't we? So we need to make that tank bigger first. Before we start grinding things, we need to make the tank biggest. We need to make the biggie biggest tank. Uh, so that is obsidian and glass. And I don't think we've got an awful lot of glass. Are you making anything? No, you're not. Can you make me some glass? Of course you can. I've got, how much? I've got 18 glass on me. Actually, I might have some tanks lying around. Let me just quickly check. Do I not got tanks lying around? Apparently, I does not got tanks lying around. I thought I did. I don't know why I've got two hardened energy cells. So there's nothing I can do with them, really. There's not There's not a lot I can do with hardened energy cells now, so... Bit bit of a sad day. Bit, bit, of, a, bit of a, you know, lonely sad day. Have a stack of that, please. In fact, I want two stacks of that. Get on with it. So while we're doing that, we'll make the grinder. I think we lost our precision sledgehammer again. I've gone through quite a few precision sledgehammers on this playthrough. I just make them fall off something. Make them fall off something. It's it's it's, it's a lifestyle choice. G R I N D E R. It's not a good lifestyle choice. I'll, I'll be honest with you. It's a bit of a crap one. So we've got one of them. We can order up a piston. We need some plastic sheets and a book. Book should not be a problem now. Uh, we got. So we had, yeah, we got one of them. Uh, plastic sheets, not a problem. One, two, three of them. Piston, which we're going to order up. Gold sword, which we can go make. Have I got gold in here? No, I don't. I might have gold in here. There may be gold in here. There is no gold in here. It was worth a shot. Possibly. Maybe not. I thought it was worth a shot. Uh, can I have two gold, please? Thank you kindly. That was generous of you to, to oblige me. Ooh, order up a piston as well while I'm at it. Uh, piston, I would like just the one. Just the one little piston. Doesn't need to be a sticky one. Begin. Just, just, just needs to be a piston. There we go. Thank you kindly. You are my hero. I love you forever. Applied energistics, I love you. You, you make me deeply, deeply happy. So we need a golden sword. A la golden sword. Book. Booky wook. Booky wook wook wook. Book. Cool. Handy. Handy dandy book. We can't do that. It won't let me. So we'll just do it manually. Golden sword. Book. Piston. Them things. Grinder. Excellent. So let us, let us survey what we need to do here. The so plastic sheets can go away. Precision sledgehammer. Maybe it's in the tools chest. Where's the tools chest? Are you the tools chest? Yes, you are. Precision sledgehammer. Excellent. It's in the tools chest. So crescent hammer can go away. Precision tool chest hammer. Precision hammer. Jobby can come out. Grinder. Let's see what we can do with this thing. So it does a specific area. So let's just plop it down there for now. That's around the wrong way. Let's just turn it round. There we go. So that's the area it does. Could probably do with backing it up a bit. Okay, so if we put it... Where did we just put it? 
If we put it there, what does that do for us? We can't get in the room. Okay, we can make the, we can make the room easier to get into. There we go. Precision sledgehammer. What's that doing for us? Hello. Thank you. That's good. Dish. Ooh, actually, I might might like to push it forward one. I think it's got three this side, two, one this side. So if I push it forward one, that will be okay. Centered all right. Yeah, that's fine. We'll push it forward one. So it can go there. And then precision sledgehammer it. So there's, jeez, come on, two blocks all the way around this thing. That's fine. That's fine. We just need to fill in this wall around the edge. Uh, probably need to fill in a bit vertically as well. Because I don't think it kills downwards, does it? Uh, cobble. Cobble. I don't think it kills downwards. I don't think it's going to hang out the bottom of the grinder. I don't see it hanging out the bottom of the grinder, so I'm going to assume it's not hanging out the bottom of the grinder. I'm assuming this is the kill area that I see before me. This is the entirety of the kill area. And beyond that, I do not want blazes wandering outside the kill area. They can they can't even spawn out there, can they? We've gotta contain we've gotta contain this environment. It's gotta be contained, so we're gonna to have to build these walls. Two blocks thick. Which means the torches temporarily are gonna to have to go. But I think I think we've reached the end of the episode. So from Furry Ears World for now. Cha ta!